never heard this. I'm headed out shed hunting. I'm not a big shed hunter. Every time I've actually specifically gone out to look for sheds, I find nothing. Zero silch. But when I'm out bird hunting or running around doing other things, I'll sometimes happen across a shed or two. But we are actually headed out to find sheds is our sole purpose. Not sole purpose. Our sole purpose is to get out, breathe some fresh air, stretch the legs, do some hiking, and maybe find a, a antler or two. So I'm meeting my good buddy uh, from Utah out in this spot, and we're gonna go try to find some elk, some deer, or maybe even a moose paddle, hopefully. What's crazy to me about shed hunting, just talking to Eric and Ben, shed crazy, what's intriguing to me about it is how much more you can learn about the animals, their behavior. What do they do in the winter? What do they do in the spring? Just talking to Eric, he's been able to figure out a lot of uh, like travel corridors and, and wintering grounds and stuff by getting out and shed hunting and finding uh, maybe sheds off the same bull from multiple years. So uh, I think shed hunting could just be looked at as another tool to be a more successful hunter. And that's kind of the way I'm looking at it right now. But I, for whatever reason, I've been kind of having a little itch to get out. And that's what we're going to go do today. So come on. Well, uh, we're five minutes into our journey, and uh, I could get into the shed hunting business. Look at this. So this was a super hard spot. I, I don't know how you did it. <laughs> Look at that. I have a question about shed hunting, Jordan. Maybe you can uh, speak to this point. Like, it seems like when I watch shed hunting videos, guys will like won't like they don't want to touch them at first. It's like as they lay, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this. I snag them up. Look at this, oh my gosh. And then finally, it's like, <laughs> grab the grab the horn. And once they grab it, it's all over. They're like, yeah! Like, they don't care about it. <laughs> you guys notice that on videos? Oh, yeah. It's just me, but it's pretty funny. That is, oh, uh, too bad he broke his main beam. He could have been a giant. Oh, he probably was. Look horn. at that. You think Sweet. we should walk around and try to match him up? He walked right down the road. Different. That's his track. Drive down the road. Yeah, I think we just keep road on. Here we go. <laughs> on the board. <laughs> Probably worth 25 bucks right there. I want to touch it. Touch it. <laughs> yes. Sweet. Yeah, this is easy. I just keep putting miles on. Buggy. This is easy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So we found that one in the in the road. We're just getting out and burning around, seeing if we can find the other side. But I am on some fresh, fresher elk tracks. It rained really hard out here Monday. These tracks look like they're probably in the rain. I'm gonna follow these. You shed guys at home, am I doing it right? Is that what you wanna be doing, looking for fresh tracks? Guess that's a good sign, huh? I can see how this can become very addicting. Like I want to find a big brown elk shed really bad. My brain keeps playing tricks on me, thinking that I can see them, but they're just logs and branches. But we're gonna keep looking. It's early. We haven't gotten to the spot we wanted to get to to look for the moose, so we're on the board. How many times have me or you drove down past <laughs> yeah, Lots. Here's an that... interesting question. How old do you guys think this deer shed is? Look at that. Cheater. Jared thinks it's 15 plus. That's old born there. Look at that. I probably drove by this shed 20 times in my life. How old do you guys think this is? Let us know in the comments. Like Jared brought up a good point, like how many people have, find sheds and throw them in their like flower garden? They're there for years and years and they don't look like this. No. Could be older than that. Dang. That's crazy. Should we leave, leave this one for the mountain? Yeah. yeah. That's the mountain one there. It goes right back here. Right yeah, back where it was, take the little sagebrush over. There you go. You gotta donate them back to the mountain every once in a while. It's good karma. Well, we got 
a snowed out of spot we were trying to get to go look for moose. There's too much snow to get up in there. So we came back on our way there. We uh, came across a bunch of elk tracks across the road. So we came back and uh, following those elk tracks right now. See if we could find that bull. This shed his antlers. A lot of tracks though, probably, I don't know, six, looks like six different bulls coming this way. It's just fun. I can't believe I haven't gotten serious about this before. But, I mean, like I was saying earlier, it's just a great way to learn more about the country you hunt, learn the animals you're pursuing, and really just get out and stretch the legs, get a, get a good hike in. I keep waiting to like come around to Juniper and just bam, just big horn laying there, but it hasn't happened yet. So I'm gonna keep on keeping on. I think it will happen though. That is what we are looking for. Well, kind of what we're looking for. These definitely seem to be bull tracks. And I'm just saying that, I don't know if they are or not. But they're pretty big and they're pretty fresh. Been following this guy for about 400 yards now. Maybe there'll be a horn somewhere. Yeah, those are pretty good fresh tracks. Where's the horn? Or horns, plural. That'd be sweet. Here's a good bull. Or a decent bull. <clears throat> I'm looking through the camera right now. Kind of hard to tell, but yeah, he's looking right at us. And he still has both of his horns. Hey bud, will you drop one of those on camera for me? It'd be pretty cool. So, um, me, Casey, and Jared split up. This is like my first time actually shed hunting. I've never gone out and uh, looked for sheds. I don't really have a technique I use. And even if I did have a technique and I told you about it, I wouldn't use it if I were you. I don't think I've ever found a shed in my life. But yeah, we got to this spot where there was a bunch of tracks and then we all kind of split up and just kind of been gritting over these foothills. I've been out for probably about 45 minutes, 50 minutes, gone about a mile. I keep hitting sets of fresh tracks and uh, I'll follow them for a while, then they kind of dissipate. So I, I don't really have a strategy. I just kind of walk around where I think elk would like to be. And that's where I was walking. And sure enough, I looked up and I found some sheds, but they were still attached. <laughs> that was cool. There's a group of like nine or 10 elk there, two bulls and a bunch of cows and calves. I hope you can see it in the video, but yeah, they were just right over there, right where I was heading. <laughs> so I must, I must be doing something right. I was uh, tracking that herd, and then I looked up, and I was like, that's where I would go if I was an elk. So I started walking that way, and sure enough, there were elk there. Um, both bulls in that herd um, had their horns, so I'm not going to find those sheds. I just found the group of elk I've been trailing. So this is interesting. I was showing you there's all those elk in there. I just walked up over the top and I came to where they were at. And their path leading out, I got on those tracks and just looking and I, sh I probably couldn't see from the video, but one of those bulls had lost one, one side, his right side. I'm looking at his tr these tracks. Look at this. Blood, drips of blood. It, I mean, how much? I've seen pictures where bulls have shed, and there's like blood dripping down their faces from where the the antler was attached. 
Is it, would there be that much blood? I mean, and I was thinking maybe when they went up over the top, he lost his other side, but I went back and looked and I don't know, it's weird. Following a blood trail to find a shed. <laughs> How much did, uh, have you guys seen like a bull bleed after they shed an antler? It'd be good to know. It's crazy though. I understand like elk injure their legs or something. Get us cut from running around the hills. But that's probably what happened here except it's a decent trail of blood. This is weird. I'm gonna talk about the trials and errors and what we learned. And that's typically why I don't shed hunts. <laughs> I knew we should have turned around after we found the first road shed. That was fun, man. It was a blast. I could definitely see myself getting more involved in shed hunting just to get out, learn, and uh, great exercise. But it's beautiful out there right now. Not much else is going on. Turkey hunting's going to be starting, but I learned a lot today. Like, I think the biggest thing is to get into an area that the elk have uh, are in, obviously, and that's by following tracks. But also, we saw a lot of bulls that were still packing, so maybe it's a little early still. Um, so... Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm sure Eric did a lot better than me today, as you guys have seen. But I finally made it into the Shed Tour vlog. Yes.